Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Black Friday haul. I have stuff from FabFitFun, Sephora, and Ulta, and I'm gonna start with the stuff from Sephora. So the first thing I got is this. It is from First Aid Beauty. It is their Ultra Repair Cream. This, I got the big guy, as you can see. You can use it on your body and your face, and it has been so dry, and with all the hand washing, I actually got this for my husband. This retails for $42, and I got it for $15, so I thought, yeah, that's a great price. I'm going to give it a try. It's supposed to be super fast absorbing and unscented and that those are two things that my husband really likes. My husband's, my hands are really, really crazy dry with the weather and all the hand washing, but I mainly got it for my husband because, you know, being a guy, they don't really tend to moisturize as often, just stereotypically speaking. So his hands are just cracking like crazy and it's really painful. So I got this for him. We have been using it, him mainly. I'm proud of him. He's been remembering. I mean, he's in so much pain. And he can't help but remember. Anyway, so it is mostly unscented. There's kind of a little bit of like a vapor rubby type scent if you really try to smell it. And then for being a really intensely moisturizing cream, I would say it is fairly fast absorbing. But that said, it is supposed to be intensely moisturizing. So it does take a little bit of time to absorb. So far, he has been remembering to put it on a few times a day and he says it is helping his skin. The main thing that's also really great about this is it says it helps hydrate dry parched skin, temporarily helps relieve minor irritation and itching, itching due to eczema and other conditions. And it also features no parabens, harsh chemicals or colorants being safe for sensitive skin or so it claims a quick scan of the ingredients I don't see any ingredients that are definitely considered to be skin irritants that jump out at me as far as I know I'm no expert but I have learned a little bit so that's the first thing I got from Sephora and then the second thing I got from Sephora is the wild wishes once should be in here I had used it the wild wishes lip stain set this is six cream lip stains from the Sephora collection. It looks like this. And this was six for the price of two of these. So this was $30. They retail for 15. So this was $30 and you get six instead of just two for that price. It has an array of colors. I can see me really liking three of them, maybe four. It has this red, which I'm trying to get into reds. So we're gonna swatch them. So this first one is this red one. It's called Always Red. I'm just gonna put them on the back of my hand. I thought that lighting would be better. I'm outside, obviously, but I thought that lighting would be a little better than it is. But I think that you can probably see things okay. So that's always red. I think that's a cool tone red. I'm still trying to learn how to identify that. And then we have this one. It is the Marvelous Mauve color. And I've worn this one, and I really, really like it. I love mauves. Who doesn't love mauves? And then this is one that I saw in reviews. People said it had a really gray tone to it. And this one's called Pink Tea. So it is very, very interesting shade, especially given that it's called Pink Tea. So that's very gray. So that's one I don't know if I can get into, but I bet I could mix it with colors that are very dark to lighten them up. And then we have Rose Redux. So that one's pretty. Have I worn that one yet? I did wear that one. And then we have Blackberry Sorbet, which I have not worn this one yet. I've been wanting a nice berry color. It's a very dark berry. So there's that one. And then we have a really dark one called Black Cherry, which I saw somebody had mixed Black Cherry with the gray toned one, and it came out with like a really nice purple color. And so there's Black Cherry. So that one's really dark. So those are the swatches of this set. If you've been eyeing this set, I do think it's a really great deal still. 
I would say four of the colors. If I can get into wearing this red, I just have to be daring enough. I don't know why. I think I, I, I need the self-esteem for it. I need to pump myself up and get my self-esteem up to a level where I'm like, yes. I am gonna rock some red. And then the last thing I got from Sephora, really mainly because I needed to get my cart up to free shipping, which would have been cheaper just to pay shipping, but then I wouldn't have had anything to show for it. So this is the Sephora pop set. These are $15 and you get a bunch of samples of things. And I liked the samples that I saw in this one. So I went ahead and got it. I think that Sephora used to have a Sephora Play box and you could subscribe to it. And that's kind of what this is. I think they got rid of the Sephora Play and you can purchase them at will, but they don't do the subscription anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below. I believe that that's the case. Anyway, so this one, let's see. Oh, it comes with stickers. Cute little social media like stickers. I don't know what I'll do with those. Okay. There's a little description card here. Great. I'm outside and I keep hearing like little animals everywhere. And I'm like, what's that? So the mo this is what I'm actually most excited about. I saw a coffee break with Danny. She does videos sometimes where it, they, she calls them what sorcery is this? And it's when she has found products that just work magic for her that she wants to share with us. And in one of those, she talked about Olaplex and I have been wanting to try it ever since. So this is the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three, repairs and strengthens all hair types. Really excited to try this and see what sorcery it is. And then there's, oh, this unscrews like too easily. Anyway, this is a little melt makeup lippy, an unapologetically bold brand that looks as good in real life as it does on social media. Liquid lipstick in the color Rebound. I have so many liquid lipsticks at this point. That and mascara are my, like if I were on a desert island, what products would I want with me? Those are two of them. Okay, so. Let's see, rebound. So there we go. We'll see by the end of this how it dries down. Of course, I wanna see this in a different kind of lighting. I'm obviously shaded right now. I have the sun behind me. Okay, and then the next thing, so I love those two things already from this little sampler. And this is honestly, when's the last time you've used up a lipstick? I used to use up lipstick when I only had one lipstick, but now that I have so many, like this is gonna last. I'm never gonna use this up anyway. So this is practically like how, me having a full size. So. That's awesome. So I'm, those two things, I was already really excited. And then the next thing is this Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. And this says, a trend maker that believes in good ingredients and getting a little weird. So this is just a little sample moisturizer. I didn't actually put moisturizer on last night, to be honest. It feels a little rich, which is great because I have dry skin. So that's awesome. It feels actually nice and a little cooling. Uh, maybe just cause it's cold out. So, so far this little sampler is awesome for me. And then there's a rare beauty item in here. So this is the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. And it says, a new hit from Selena Gomez that's all about boosting radiance and confidence. This is what it looks like. I do like the packaging on her line. It's so simple and elegant. Okay, it looks a little bit like there's a Milani Glow Illuminating Primer. So it's kind of that idea. Uh, let's just put it on. This lighting isn't the best for this. I'm sorry. I honestly, I've been feeling a little down lately and I still want to make my videos, but I'm not, I don't have the um, energy to make sure that I'm in like the best lighting and, and try to refine that. I'm having difficulty refining it anyway because I moved into a new space and I'm looking back at my old videos where I used to film in my apartment bathroom and if you used to follow me then, I didn't try for that lighting. That apartment bathroom just had the best lighting and I never knew it. I, I never ever knew it. Actually though, I do feel like I can see that. That looks really good wow anyway so i've been struggling getting my lighting good in my new uh in my office where i usually film and it's better but it's still not where i want it to be i might actually have to invest in one of those light boxes which will just make that area look so cluttered so the next thing is from dermalogica this is a hydro mask exfoliant a results focused line that puts skin health at the top of the to-do list okay so i guess it's a hydrating exfoliating mask hydro mask exfoliant right Let's see what the directions say massage 
leftover cleanse face and neck until spheres disappear. Let set for three to five minutes, then rinse. Okay, so I guess there are little like spheres of goodness in here that will dissolve or spread out as you put this on your face and then work to improve your skin. I don't know. So there's that. So I really, really like that. There's one more thing, but these are sheet masks, I suppose. I piece out AHA, BHA, and PHA brightening peel pads. PHA. I'm unfamiliar with PHA. What's PHA? Let me know in the comments below. I'll look it up too. Actually, I'll look it up and flash it across the screen. I probably already did. A skincare star making dullness a thing of the past. I've never heard of this brand, so that's great. I actually, I was really into this pop set, so it wasn't like I just filled my cart for the free shipping anyway. I had been considering getting it. Uh, the Olaplex caught my eye, and then as I looked at the other products, I thought, yeah, I would like to try all of those, so. I am excited about this little kit. So that's everything I got from Sephora. And so next is Ulta. So I got the Eco Tools Glow on the Go limited edition six piece holiday kit of brushes. And I opened this, this was like half off. So it was retails for $19.99 and it's a holiday kit, but during Black Friday, it was 10 bucks. So it's a $36 value, it says. I like Eco Tools brushes. I I realized as I was opening the stuff from the Sephora, some of that stuff wasn't cruelty free that I just went through. And sometimes I do forget. I'm pretty good when I'm shopping set fab fit fun to make things sure things are cruelty free, but I notice I forget to do it as diligently when I'm looking at Sephora and Ulta. And I think it's because when I'm looking at Fab Fit Fun, I'm desperately trying to eliminate things from my cart and I use that as a way to do so. But when I'm looking at Sephora and Ulta, I don't have as much of that need to eliminate things from my cart. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I need to remember to think that way more when I'm shopping Sephora and Ulta. It's a work in progress. Being cruelty free is hard. I need to expand it into other areas of my life too. I look at like my cleaning products and things like that and I think to myself, that's probably not cruelty free. That's probably tested on animals. Uh, what a world. So this is the set and I actually kind of forgot it comes with this. So this is still a holiday kit. You can still get this for a good price. This is one of those ones that it like feels like paper, but it's still durable. And then here are the brushes a little more up close. So it's a face kit, obviously. And then it comes with a little sponge. So I got that. Looking at this, I'm like, hmm, did I need this? No. But was it 10 bucks? Yes. I am set on brushes, I think, for a long while. Okay, and then the next thing I got actually is their lip glossary from Ulta Beauty. This is the Ulta brand. And there are a whole bunch of little tiny lip glosses. So I am trying to become a lip gloss fan. So I will keep some of these, but these are cute little tiny bullets of lip gloss and I can gift these to friends. So this is also one of their holiday sets, I believe. Yeah, I think it's one of their holiday sets and it was also on sale for Black Friday. So it was a screaming deal. It was like 10 bucks and here's one little guy. So they are very little, the only complaint in the reviews on this product was that these are smaller than people thought and so they were really bummed about it but other than that i mean i don't use lip gloss that much and i if i use this at stocking stuffers especially it's totally fine so this one's extremely sheer just a little shimmery oops i don't know where i thought i was going with my hand there but the lip glosses themselves as lip glosses do have pretty good reviews so i may gift this as an entire set to a friend or i think i might just you know use them to throw in as little extra gifties with a big gift to people i like doing that the next thing i got from ulta is this set of black scrunchies from kitsch it comes like this i don't actually know if these were on sale. I don't think they were. They were $8 though and it comes with five. So these have really good reviews. My postpartum hair is not happy. So I just thought I wanted something a little bit softer and kinder on my hair to put my hair up with. And I have a bunch of Invisibobble type ties and those are okay, but I've been hearing a lot about having satin or silk to uh, use on your hair and that it's a lot more gentle. So anyway, I thought I would try these out and they do feel nice and they do feel like they will hold my hair. And then the CoverGirl stuff, 
was on sale for Black Friday and I got one of their True Naked Cream Shadow Sticks. I have seen really good things about this. This is just in a neutral color, like a neutral brightening color. Yeah, it's like actually kind of like a bronzy color. There it is, right there. And then I actually really wanted a better pencil sharpener for my products, so there was one from NARS. So it's just a little pencil sharpener. Okay, now. The J Cat stuff was on sale, and I had tried their powder foundation, and I think that I've been kind of off with what shade I think I am for things like this, for foundations and, and whatnot. So I was thinking I was light warm, but I'm starting to think I'm actually maybe light neutral. So I went back in and I got this in ivory which is a light neutral actually it might be their fair neutral so this I think is going to be much more my shade this stuff goes on so nicely so let's see if this blends into my neck well okay, this stuff feels so good going on and then it feels like it's not even there this stuff is incredible. What is it? Did I even tell you really? It's the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. I had gotten it in the shade Natural, and for me, that was definitely proving to be a little too dark. I was seeing like a distinct line right here when I would try it out, but I think that this color is much more for me. So I got this and this was half off. So this is usually $13.99 and I got it for $6.99. So I was really happy to see that because I was feeling bummed that I had the wrong shade and it's such a wonderful product. I don't feel like there's anything here right now and nothing's really coming off of my hand. It's really incredible. And then once you said it was setting spray, Ugh, just ugh, get out of town. So the next thing I got from Ulta is this Milani Make It Last setting spray. The Milani stuff was on sale. I think this was half off. I have heard wonderful things about this setting spray, so I'm excited. I had had it in my save for later for a while, and so what I did when I went to the Ulta site, I looked at all my save for laters to see if they were marked down, and that one was, so I threw it up into my cart. And then I also got from Ulta this, it was not on sale. This is the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen. I got it in the color Deep Plum. So I thought that this would be a really pretty color. And I've heard great things about the Silky Eye Pen. I want to put it on, but I can't see very well right now. Oh, wow. That went on. I think I pressed a little hard, but that goes on nicely. So there it is in deep plum so it's like a dark dark purple and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it and then for black fire friday something Ulta was doing was they were giving away this if you spent 60 dollars or more you would get this so this makeup bag and it's filled with a bunch of Ulta makeup so it has i'm not really going to go through it uh, but it has a matte eye primer a lipstick a face primer a lip gloss and an eyeshadow palette so it's all bundled in there i might give this away to a friend as a christmas present so that's one of the reasons why i don't want to go and open it and swatch it that was exciting and you could either get it with this color bag or you could get it with a blue bag so i chose this one just i like that color better okay so that's everything from ulta now we have fab fit fun i actually didn't get too much their boxes just are really big okay so the first thing I got is the native deodorant and toothpaste. They had a little bundle in the sale and this was 10 bucks. So I need deodorant. I might, I don't have a backup to my deodorant and I haven't tried native. So I'm excited to, it is a really popular natural deodorant and Ooh, it's plastic free as well. You know what? That makes me very, very happy. Okay. And then a toothpaste. So I needed backup toothpaste. So this was actually a really, really practical purchase from FabFitFun this time around. I also, got the beekeepers naturals propolis throat spray i sometimes in the middle of the night will wake up with just a really acute itch in my throat and i need to cough so much and i end up and going to the kitchen and drinking like five tablespoons of honey so i'm hoping that instead of having to do this i can just spray this when that happens that happens to me about three times a year i would say and this isn't so much for sore throats for me it's for those moments when i don't want to 
cough and cough and cough and wake up my husband and child. So there's that. Okay, and then the next thing I got from Puppet Fun is the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. I've heard good things about the IGK hairline from like one or two people I've seen on the internet. I've seen good things said and therefore when I saw it in the Puppet Fun sale, I was like, I've got to have some. So I decided I to go with this one. This one was the cheapest one available in the sale. It was the one that I was most interested in and it's the one that had the best reviews on Ulta. I often mix it up, but I believe the reviews for this were on Ulta. I believe this was on Ulta. So I'll let you know what I think of that. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of product review videos. I haven't done one in a while. I mentioned I'm feeling, this quarantine's getting to me. I'm feeling pretty down lately. So I'm having some difficulty getting the energy to film videos. Actually, I have the energy to film. I just don't have the energy to make myself look good. So I might just start filming videos looking like I look. So be prepared for that. Okay. And the next thing I got for Bad Fit Fun is the Kopari CBD Recovery Balm. This is one of those topical pain relievers and it was $9. My husband has a bad back. I get these things for him once in a while to see if it will work or if he'll even use it, but I'm going to wrap this for Christmas and give it to him and hopefully he'll use it and he will like it. If not, I'll use it for headaches or something. And then I got, this is the last thing from Bad Fit Fun. This is the last thing I got. I got one of the nectar blue light blockers. I actually already have these and I just thought it would be nice to have another pair so that I can keep them if I ever go back to the office. I don't know. After all of this, I wonder if I'm just going to end up working at home even after the pandemic's over. That's a whole other topic. But these are they and actually I kind of like these better than the ones I have. I think they're a different shape to the lens. I like these and they're actually a little bit sturdier feeling. I really like the ones I have too. The ones I have, they're a little bit more round in the frame. I'm really glad I got these. Anyway, I am a big fan of blue light block blockers. If you're not using them, I highly, highly suggest giving them a try, especially if you're on the computer a lot, you find yourself squinting, getting headachey, or having difficulty getting off of the computer at night. I have mentioned this in my channel before, but if you are one of those people who surfs the internet at night and you end up looking and it's like 1 a.m. and you're like what the heck just happened this will help solve that when I wore these I found that I didn't get as hypnotized by my screen and I would actually shut my computer off and want to go to sleep it felt more like reading a book you know how reading a book can make you feel sleepy and you'll want to go to sleep it felt more like that when I would do my internet surfing if I wore blue light blockers so I highly recommend them so that is everything that I I got. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Say hello in the comments below. Let me know how you're doing with this pandemic. I gotta say it's getting to me and I still have a job. I still have my place. I still have a lot to be grateful for and I am very grateful, but I just... I think about how it's getting to me and then I think about all of the people that it's affecting in worse ways than it's affecting me and my heart breaks. So let me know how you're doing. I love you so much. Stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.